Driving is a skill we carry throughout our life and always continue learning. However, many young drivers struggle to attain a driver's license. Although the process is lengthy, it requires three steps that can easily be achieved by putting in time and effort. Starting off with the basics, there are three steps you need to complete to earn your driver's license. G1, G2, and G. G1 is a written knowledge test and the first step. It is a multiple choice step with two sections and 40 questions. The G2 test is a more challenging test as it requires you to drive a car. It can be taken 12 to 8 months after you completed your G1 test. Lastly, the G test challenges one's ability to drive on a highway. Let's start with the first test you need to complete, your G1. To do it, you need to be 16 years of age or older. So it is a written test that is usually categorized as an easy to medium difficulty range. It has two sections, one for road signs and the other for road rules. So um, this test is made up of 40 multiple choice questions. Each section has 20 multiple choice questions. And to pass the knowledge test, you must answer a minimum of 16 questions correctly in each section. That being said, there are a few things you can do to make the test easier. First, you could follow Team Mississauga on Instagram. Every week we post real G1 test questions with their answers and explanations to help you prepare. Another important technique you can use to prepare is taking online G1 tests. Many of the questions used in these tests overlapped with the ones given in the official test. Completing a few of these assessments is an effective way to succeed. So you should avoid planning your visit near closing hours as there might not be enough time to check documents and write your evaluation. When you have your G1, there are certain things you are and are not allowed to do. Your G1 lets you drive on roads other than 400 series highways and high-speed expressways, but only with a fully licensed driver of four years in the passenger seat. You are not allowed to drive between midnight and 5 a.m. and your blood alcohol level must be zero at all times. You are also responsible for making sure all your passengers are wearing their seatbelts properly. So once you have passed your G1, the next step is to do your G2. If you've done your driving school, you can do this 8 months later. Instead of the 12 months, you will have to wait otherwise. Unlike the G1, the G2 is a road test in which you will have to demonstrate that you know how to drive safely and well. This test is not a knowledge test, but an applied one. The difficulty level is subjective to your experience with driving. It is one test and the examiner evaluates you on a list of requirements such as reverse parking, switching lanes, three port turns, etc. To ensure you confidently pass your G2 test, there are a couple of tricks and tips you can use to guarantee success. First off, drive yourself to the drive center with an adult to practice for the real test. This is a great way to warm up and touch up on anything that needs to work. Also, make sure you know your vehicle. Many people borrow a vehicle for the test and are not aware of the emergency features, gears, and settings and more. Using the same vehicle you use to practice is an effective way to succeed. Lastly, make sure your car is free from any mechanical issues. Check the lights and ensure you have a full tank of gas and the wiper fluid is full. If you are looking to book your G2 test, you can do so online, by phone, or at any drive test center. When booking a date and time, be sure to have your driver's license handy, as you will need to present it. When you graduate from your G1 to your G2, there are fewer restrictions. For one, you no longer need a licensed driver in the car with you. Also, you're allowed to drive on any road in Ontario at any time, for the most part. If you're 19 or below, you're only allowed to have up to one passenger under the age of 20 in your car between midnight and 5 a.m. This rule does not apply if you have a licensed driver in the passenger seat or if your passengers are immediate family members. The final step in your driver's license process is to get your full G license. Like the G2, the G test is a road test. The difficulty level for this test also ranges based on your experience with driving on highways. Make sure you're confident and had loads of practice before the taking this test. To ensure you confidently pass your G-test, there are a couple of tricks and tips you can follow to guarantee success. First off, stay at the speed limit or at most 3 kilometers under the speed limit. It is more difficult to slow down than to speed up. Next, reach the highway speed before merging onto the highway, unless the cars are not going the highway speed. And as always, arrive early to your drive test location to ensure you have enough time to fill out the paperwork and complete your test. Once you have your G-license, there are no restrictions other than following the law and road rules of course and that's how you get your full driver's license in just three steps thank, thank you for watching, watching and good luck on your future driving examinations, examinations. don't forget to follow Cheers. Cheers.